Hey everyone, my name is Jeremy with Moonshine Marketing. Um, today we're going to be working on doing a dynamic product app for our test client, Tanks That Get Around. Check out their shirts, they're hilarious. Um, they very generously uh, allow me to use them as a guinea pig for all of these explainer videos. So, first things first, gonna go into the ads manager here, our, our business manager, then open up our ad account. I'm going to go up here into the top left hamburger menu, <clears throat> go into all tools, and check out our catalogs. Um, I know that I have a catalog in there. Uh, there's ways to uh, set up a Facebook catalog that are pretty simple if you have a setup like Shopify or WooCommerce or something like that. Um, this is pretty specific to e-commerce, but... Um, yeah, we uh, should be able to, if you have troubles with that, I will go ahead and link a guide to getting a product catalog set up in the description of the video. So right now I'm going to start by hitting create a campaign, um, going over to catalog sales here, I'm going to call this, we're going to name this dynamic or DPA catalog sales. Now, one of the interesting things you may have seen on the news, um, some Facebook advertisers like Wish and things like that make it news because people have been getting really off the wall suggestions for products and it kind of went viral on its own um, along with everything uh, along with everything uh, uh, with, with all these strange basically suggestions that are getting uh, sent to people um, and the reason is is that they have just an absolutely massive catalog and they set up dynamic product ads and what that does is it lets Facebook show ads to people that basically it thinks will they're most likely to buy um, and auto optimize for that so it's basically putting your entire catalog out there and then letting Facebook choose who sees what um, based on their internal data and a lot of people are having really incredible returns on that. So we're going to go ahead and set one of those up today. So um, they have the split test option. Um, I don't know if that's entirely necessary. And then the budget optimization, um, that's also not entirely necessary. So let's see here. So yeah, we're going to do all 1,794 products that we have. Um, we have a large number of SKUs, but... You know, only like 50, 60 designs or something like that. Um, and we're going to go over here to define a broad audience and let Facebook optimize. So we are going to keep it to United States, um, 18 to 65 plus. Um, actually, you know what? We're not going to keep it to United States. We're going to go worldwide. We're going to go all over the world. Um, <clears throat> We are going to say that we have to speak English. All will be inclusive of the United Kingdom today. Um, detail targeting. So we have good... Um, our, our shirts are supposed to be funny. Um, so we're going to target some... Uh, you know, at least I think they're pretty funny. Um, we're going to target some humor-based... Um, uh, we're going to go ahead and target some humor-based uh, publications and things like that. These are probably going to, you know, tend towards more millennial types, but should be good. So Unilad, Unilad the Onion Lad Bible Chive, things like that, Break.com, um, that sort of thing. So we'll go ahead and do that. Looks like our audience... It's not estimating the audience, but it's saying that we could have up to 38,000 reach a day. I actually typically ignore that. Oh, that would be why. We are not running a $100 budget a day. We're going to run a $10 budget a day. And we are going to optimize to one day quicker view um, and go for a purchase event. All right. So we're going to continue. <clears throat> Now, dynamic product ads are a little bit different in that when you're setting them up, you um, uh, 
can go ahead and use these catalog fields. So we will do like the text at the top will do the description, right? So just the product description. And you can see over here when this decides to actually load up that the product description will dynamically load from each uh, from each uh, from each product in the ad. So in the cage with the card of our picture, images, a show, a slideshow when available. Um, yep. Okay, it tanks the amount, part name, part price, shop now, call to action. And we're going to be done. That's pretty much it. I will go ahead and report back on the results of this experiment, and we will see how it goes. Um, in the meantime, thank you very much for your time. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Happy to talk. Um, have a great day.